have a lot of people, you know, selecting the part that they're interested in to, to make videos and throw commentaries, you know, we've been, got, we've been getting that for years now, and you know, these things doesn't bother us as a people, it doesn't bother us, it doesn't bother us. Um, you can teach people, but we must tolerate the ignorance of certain persons and we must learn from the wisdom of others. Yeah, so the fact that we are bringing certain things from here doesn't mean we expect everyone to understand it. You know, but however, as so as we are saddled with the responsibility of what? So um, the heart it falls into that depends on what God wants to do. But we are saddled with the responsibility of sowing even as God begins to crush the idolatry that has been exalted. The images that have been exalted in the churches and only the Lord would be magnified as king. So, uh, something was brought to my attention where a media outlet put up something and you know, someone came and said he knows us and we are paying people but we pay people to bring down a man of God. <laughs> a tree is known by its fruit. A tree. The fact that you have capacity to do something doesn't mean some of us even think of it. A tree is what? A tree is known by its fruit. Where we come from by the grace of God they taught us Jesus. It's not gift they taught us. They didn't teach us to be flying prophets, major bishops and prophets. No, they taught us to be Christians, to fear the Lord and to follow his word. So, you know, we are not against you, you know, saying anything against us. You put out whatever you want to put out there. The designing, we know. The gullible will fall. So, <laughs> but I would say, those that fall on the stone will be broken into pieces. Those that the stone falls on, they'll be grinded. So, but if you are bringing an allegation, because you see, in religious cycle, divergent understandings and standpoints are welcomed. Yeshua had his own opinions on certain things that the Pharisees would do in those days. And that was his own opinion. And those opinions were good for him and his disciples. And he was not shy of speaking them out publicly. So, as long as I'm within the religious family in court as it is perceived on it as long as I'm within this sphere called Christianity all I teach all I say is subject is subject to scrutiny people can come out and bring their own divergent opinion in fact the Bible said Apostle Paul sat down and they deliberated in the school of Tyrannus they deliberated they argued about scriptures in the temple he was there arguing with them debating that's what the Bible says. Have you seen a debate before? One is pushing his motion. The other one is pushing his motion. And then at the end of the day, the superior doctrinal standpoint wins. So, within the religious context, they are allowed to call you Satan. <laughs> Whatever. They can call you a false prophet. And if the person has scriptures, scriptural backings, like you can come now and say, Prophet Joe, why are you wearing suit? According to these scriptures... If you are wearing suit, it means you are not authentic. You are not representing what a priest, according to biblical operation, should represent. So you are fake, Prophet Duo. But you see, if you have an operation, I don't care how big you are, if you have an operation that is anti the spirit of the Bible, that is anti the testimony of Jesus, no matter how many people you deceive, a generation will rise that will know the Lord. Because the Bible says, we've received an unction from the Holy One. Who has received an unction? Is he a prophet only? Is he the apostle only? Is he the bishop that was ordained? We have received an unction for the Holy, from the Holy One. And we need that no one teaches us because that unction within us can reveal Christ to us. Are we together? So he said, I'm writing to you not because you're ignorant. I'm writing to you because you know. So when the people who have received an unction from the Holy One check scriptures and, and they say, oh God, this thing you are bringing and you've been pioneering and people have been celebrating for many years is <laughs> falsehood. You don't come and say, I have cars. You don't have cars. 
I have a fan base, you don't. In fact, if maybe what I'm doing, I'm not doing it from understanding. You will not bring scriptures and tell me why you should call yourself major electrician. And why calling yourself major electrician somehow, somehow impacts positively the ministration of Jesus. You know, why call yourself major electrician and exalt yourself as an idol before the people somehow contributes to the general understanding the people will get to have about the Lord. And if you bring sufficient scriptures, who doesn't like a good nickname here? I, I will call myself the galactic prophet. Falsehood is very profitable. And even a genuine anointing at some point can push falsehood. And guess what happens? Jesus will give you time to repent. You see, it's so easy to spot the fountain of falsehood. Just look at the people it produces. You will see a gift driven people that has little or no knowledge of the Lord. Man worshippers that cannot defend what anything from scriptures. People are willing to play dirty just to favor their, their idols. And so you have one now coming out to put up a video somewhere and someone who claims to know me and my spiritual father and he knows that we pay people. He, he doesn't even know how to pronounce my name. <laughs> You hear the person that you know this is a fanboy of a pastor. <laughs> and then, you know, when our team made an official statement, and that statement was made, you know, you've never seen us make such statement on, meanwhile, they have been posting a lot. It was made because you cannot claim that we are committing a criminal offense, because that's a criminal offense. That has gone beyond the realms of religion. If it's still in the realms of religion, call me Satan. I won't answer you. It doesn't diminish my truth. But when you now go as far as saying people are paying others to do harm to the person of another pastor and you publish this on a media space and you don't produce events, someone, a coward hides somewhere, maybe probably a friend, you know, just, okay, let's, let's do it like this. <laughs> and then he just talks, talks, talks. Maybe your brother in the house, you say, okay, these are the three-point agenda. <laughs> Put a, do a video and say, okay, look at the text message I sent to you, you know, since you know me. Look at the text message I sent. Look at the transactions we did and you were there when we were discussing. Hey! Begin to post. We were one of the accused media outlet commented on our post and said, ah, this particular person, I even helped him. It is, you see, all I see is desperation. Desperation to, de to destroy you. I know in this generation, when someone comes and talks with a low voice, oh, people, see, Pastor Dominion, I have told you people, save yourself and your family members. And then anyone who is willing to enter the ark, the generation is corrupt. Their discernment is destroyed. Is it not in the mouth of two or what? Three witnesses that what? A matter is established. So someone comes and gives the witness of his voice. And then there's no other concrete evidence to back up a thing. Anyone can come, I can, any boy here can come now and cry, they say, a pastor. Even BBC do better jobs. At least they go and do research for many years and get to prove. And yet, even their research can still be faulted. It's something to laugh about. If you can look at someone like Apostle Arobel Sai, and believe he's, you know, they say, my father Lord is pursuing cloud. So when he was in Makodi laboring for Jesus, he wasn't pursuing cloud. He didn't know that there's cloud. When he turned down opportunities to minister because the Lord would not allow him. The same person pursuing cloud now. You can't talk about the apostolic without tracing pioneers of the apostolic ministry now to him. That's the man you say is pursuing cloud. The ministry of utterance, when it comes to the counsel of God, is with a man in Makodi. And because he doesn't dance to the tomb, of everyone. He, he dances to the tune of a different flag. He has been telling us this for more than 12 to 13 years. At least when I joined. Dances to a tune of a different flag. And you can look at that kind of man and say this man is pursuing cloud. He's, he's a bitter man. He's, if the kind of people I, I, I would never tolerate any of my brethren here. I know, let's say I know you have a media channel and then you now go out to publicize contents on your platforms because someone is attacking me, you now begin to push lies in order to also... <laughs> a tree is known by what? It's fruit. Now let's take time to look at the quality of what we are producing. Who are the people? You know, you call 
you know, a lot of people call themselves fathers, fathers, fathers. The question is, who are the people that call you son? Let's put their life on an x-ray. Is it not a particular wine skin we see being piped from that prison? So please, you have, you can talk about us. As long as we think the religious fair insult us. Bring Bible and show me the, the false teachings I'm doing. I'm putting out into the body of Christ. You are, you are condemning people. What is the condemnation? Your wicked heart is what is, is reacting to truth. If I, I can come here and say, someone, you know, we've grown by the grace of God. I find the Lord has spoken to me. I say, preach truth. Don't, no need to call anybody's name. As you know, you know, two years ago, my head was not stable. The, the zeal of the Lord. But if I say a person is false, and I'm speaking from the prospect, prophetic perspective. And, we, and how do we judge a person? We judge a person by the fruit of their priesthood. Because that's how Yeshua said we know a tree. You can't expect one of truth to produce falsehood. And you can't expect one of falsehood to produce truth. Yeshua says it's not possible. So you go out there as a prophet and you are clubbing. Hey! You are in the club. You are with women. What you are showing is car, your shoe, and Aila Mosani. And then you are selling miracle apple, miracle water, things that things that are not found in scriptures. Things the rich the the thousands of years of history we have in scriptures. We cannot find that operation. And just because you can call name and phone number, you want us. To believe that you are a servant of Christ. What are you doing that is different from what the girl with the familiar spirit is doing? Jesus, Pastor Joseph. And people are saying, hey, judge not. Avenging all disobedience. When what? Your own is complete. You see, Jesus Christ is not against you removing what is in your brother's eyes. He said, but just wait and remove your own first. So that you can see clearly. If the problem is the eye, deal with your eye. Then you can see clearly to deal with the eye. I can tell you boldly here that since Salem as a ministry started, if there's a damn say I'm texting and I'm saying, uh, after church I text the person, I say, come and strengthen me. Come and massage my back. We can say this boldly as a testament to not just our public stand for righteousness, but also our secret stand for righteousness. Since when has righteousness become a tin of anger to people who claim to have a spirit of holiness? Yeshua said, if you stand with me, if you have my word, you are going to be persecuted on my account. God needs to help East Africa. God needs to help West Africa. God needs to help South Africa. For many years, you see, the, the church has been drunk with a prophetic style that hypes manifestations but doesn't care about the character of Christ. So sorcerers gained access into the church of Christ and seduced the people with giftings and promises of miracles and breakthrough. And then got the people to get used to iniquity. So guess what? They now heaped for themselves such teachers. And they gave heed to seductive spirits. A seductive spirit will not tell you truth to your face. The Bible says he that speaketh truth from his heart. A seductive spirit will tell you what you want to hear. So that you can be hypnotized into idolatry. So when they say this error. It's not of God. The idolatrous spirit in you will rise. Kill him. He has casted out the demon from the girl having familiar spirit that brought us much what? Gain. That brought us much gain. Touch gain. You will see familiar spirit manifest. <laughs> so please, we are not having issues with you coming and saying prophet you not selling miracle water is an error because so so scriptures tells us to sell miracle water if you bring sufficient scriptures I would redress my standpoint immediately you people know me 
but you know to go as far as saying bringing someone <laughs> even if you bring something to me and I say this person did this I will say what are the proofs you have anybody can come and tell a, a story and then you put out such an entire we are going to take this one seriously you know I noticed that from what I've been told that channel is notorious for you know how will you call say truth and love and what we find there is lie and deceit <laughs> you are further even giving the person you claim to defend you are giving him a bad name because he begs to make one begin to wonder the quality of life in that priesthood if these are the kind of people that can be produced from that God. May God give us understanding. And then, Jerusalem, Salem, Salem. So that's just a brief commentary on that. And um, please, let's not reply anyone. Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, I'm grateful. If you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Pastor John Anosike vowed to chase me out of YouTube. He has terminated my four YouTube channels with first copyright strike. My offense is because I use his picture to do commentary and say no. When he said that Jesus is powerless, that was when I, I'm just telling you how our matter started. I said no, that Jesus is not powerless. Now this pastor, although I don't even know him that time, I said, who is this pastor that said that Jesus is powerless? You can see Jesus and still die. I said, no, sir. So this thing now, Prophet Joel said, that is what I said. I said, no, sir. I brought out my own evidence in, with biblical uh, proof. I said, no, it's my suggestion on this. Je it's according to John. He said that Jesus is powerless, that his power is in his gospel. When people look at him, he said that his power is in gospel. That that name Jesus is powerless and highly powerless. That his name is in the gospel. I said, no, sir. That name is not powerless. Bible says, as the mention of that his name being Jesus, and not as a mention of the gospel, and they cannot separate Jesus with the gospel. As the mention of his name being Jesus, every name shall bow. Okay? And every man shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. So, that his name carries power. When you are in trouble, the name you are going to call is the name Jesus. Also, Yeshua is the genuine, the one as in the real name, but we are calling it Jesus. So, as the mention of that name, Jesus, every name, so that name carries power. If that name has never worked for you, me, he has worked for me. So, after that, my analysis, the man got angry and claimed the videos and terminated the channels. There was two channel, two YouTube channels. He got them down because I did the video, the first one. People began to drag me, you know, his members, and try to. Although some people try to bring their their own opinion on the on it, I did another one to prove to them that that the analysis is wrong. All those videos went down. And that time, I don't know anything like reappeared. That is how I lost the two channels in his hands. So, and I'm looking to his man. I said, let me even look. Who is this man? Why is this man like this? And I look into the social media and find out that the man is not even doing what he's doing. He's far, is far from Christianity. I'm telling you. I'm not telling you this because I, because I hate him. No, I have nothing against him. I try as much as possible not to walk in hurt. Okay? I have nothing against him. So, whatever I said about John and Osike, I have proof. I'm telling you, I have 100% proof that that man is what he's doing. He has nothing to do with Christianity. When he pray, I'm just trying to analyze, to, I want to compare this thing that Prophet Joel said and the one of that guy, okay? This love and the truth of a thing. Now, Pastor John Anasike sends people to heaven to go and meet their loved one that broke their heart. Is that Christianity? He sent a lady to heaven to go and meet. Her loved one that broke her heart. He said, I'm praying for you now. I'm sending you to heaven to go and see your loved one that broke your heart. And the lady began to manifest in a strange manner. Their eye, her eyes turned turn up and turned red. So that is what he is doing. 
And the acting has nothing to do with Christianity. When he's praying for them, he says he's sending people to rain. And they will be manifesting in a demonic and strange manner. He said, their eyes will be turning up and red. He will say, yes, I hope the eyes is white. This one now, the eyes is white. That is the main thing. So, if you, I wish, and you know why they his live stream. Immediately after the service, he delete his live stream. So that people will not watch it. They will just create, his media will create the one they want people to see. So, what he's doing, I'm telling you guys, I'm not telling you what I don't know. He look one day he was doing that. He said, You can see this thing now. They are manifesting. Show me where it is in the in the whole world where this thing is done or is happening in Christianity. He said there is no way it's happening in Christianity. That he's the only one that can do this. He's the only one that can transport, he used to call it transport, transport or uh, uh, telecop, <laughs> teleport. He used to call it teleport. He's the only one that can teleport people to heaven. To rain, and he's the, and I look at that statement again. I say, if you are the only one that can teleport people, only pastor on earth that can teleport people to heaven, that means it's not what Christianity. He said, tell heaven, tell heaven. That means it's not Christianity. What you are doing is far from Christianity. Okay, because Bible says, when Jesus is ascended, he gave gifts to men. And not man. God did not give gift to man. Even when Jesus was on earth. He did not call one disciple. He called to earth. He gave gift to men. Okay. Apostle Paul was preaching the gospel. He was doing signs and wonders. Likewise other disciples. And not one person. So any gift that any man will say. I'm the only one that, come, that is working on this gift. That gift is not from God. It's from demon. I'm telling you. So I brought out my own evidence. That is how it's supposed to be done. That is what I'm telling you guys now. So because of that now, it's be as if the man is now on my neck. They have laid so much courses on me. He has terminated my four YouTube channels with first copyright strike. You know, he has content ID. So he has, he can do anything. They don't have to. In fact, right now, he allegedly paid blogger to, this, to terminate the last one two weeks ago. Okay. So that blogger now, I look into it, this trend, trend with Kema. When I look at the guy, we have to investigate this the matter. I said, no, this can just, the guy went and claimed Pastor Jones because I don't use his content, he gave me his pictures. The guy went and claimed Pastor Jones' video, where I don't even use Jones' picture, nothing, nothing, on my channel. Because I use P Pastor's picture and did, uh, and did Pastor Udmeje and others and did a voice over meanwhile the guy used their picture before the what he did he now used his own and claimed that one or the major picture not is even his own imagine wickedness in his order because he has much subscribers so there's nothing i can do that is how the the, the channel went down we are i'm gonna have to f uh, go into investigation i spent i know how much i spent to look into the matter and trace this person who did this and why and how so i'm just trying to tell you guys how this guy is supposed to do this okay the guy that that is lying against uh, against uh, Joel and the uh, aroma we went into investigation at the end of the matter we came out with reasonable investigation we saw the guy we met the guy live we took picture video everything everything about him I come out and began to send him a message. I said, guy, you don't do that. I told him, why are you doing criminal work for Yahoo pastors? Why? And I found out that this guy, these pastors are even using him to do, go and check this thing now. He recently posted uh, Jeremiah Mototofi. How Jeremiah, hey, this pastor is trending because of the prophecy he gave about the football. Meanwhile, Jeremiah did not got it on the football, the last one. People are even dragging him concerned that they, so he's now he, he at times he claimed that he's working against false pastors pastors. Meanwhile, he's the one behind their criminal work online. And I found out that this guy is doing a lot of criminal activities online. I'm not telling you what I don't know. So we track him, we track his the brother, we track every of his family members, everything about him.
I look at it, I say, oh boy, my hands are tired, I can't hurt you. Never. I can't hurt you. I traced the brother, I sent the brother a message. I said, please, tell your your uh, your brother, uh, his name is his name is Kema, Kema Elias. Kema Elias. That is his name. His name. Okay? I Kema Elias. That is his real name. Of trend with Kema. If you know him, please can you send this message to him. If I'm lying, you should talk, come and tell me on comment section that I'm lying against him. So before you do anything or you say anything, make sure that you have evidence. Okay? Now, when I, I contacted the brother, the diamond, the name of his brother is Diamond. I said, all the family, I found out that all his family members are hiding from social media, on social media because, because of what the guy is doing on media. They don't want anybody to trap them. And he's also using them. He recruits youth. And they'll be in one room and be creating lies against uh, social, uh, all these uh, big blog, uh, pastors and uh, some other people. What is his name? These uh, celebrities. If you pay them, they will, if you pay them, if you're a celebrity, you pay him. He will condemn someone else, someone that you don't know, that you hate. In the name of this past, this person is uh, is richer than this person, so that is the kind of content is created. Instead of him to focus on the content, he is now focusing it based on money. You see, so it's now when you pay, he do the two for you. All these Yahoo pastor, pastor that you know that they are fake, they are fake, hundred percent fake. I'm not telling you what I don't know. Before I tell that this pastor is fake, I have evidence. Okay, that is how we've been trained here. We are trained in the area that before you say anything, or you, or if you don't, you are not sure. You say allegedly, but you can see. So that is how it is. Now, look at the one of Joel. When I contacted the brother first, for uh, the brother that was when I sent him a message on WhatsApp, he quickly removed his picture on WhatsApp. I just laughed. I said, "Look at this person. The person that will have his picture, life, your video, where you walk, your house, everything." So why are you hiding? Do you think that I just sent you a message? How do I even get your number? I don't even know. So how do you think that I just sent you a message? It's just social media something. We paid millions to get any information we want to get to make sure that we have evidence. Okay, we don't just talk on social media. We don't talk on so we don't just talk social media talk. See, it, to track, you see this in Nigeria government is doing. They know what they're doing. If they want to track anybody that is doing any criminal work in Nigeria, they can track the person. They can arrest all of them. It's possible. It may only take time and money. I told the guy, I said, see guy, it takes only time and money. But for you to track some, to say he cannot get anybody in Nigeria, any criminal in Nigeria, it's a lie. Of course he can. You can track anybody, you can arrest anybody in any world, in this world. No matter once this world is consigned, and this person, the person is existing in this world, whether the person is using phone or not, whether the person is using a whatever or not, you can track the person, of course. It will only take time and money. Okay? So, Joseph, this message is for you. For all of you who have not watched this video, the first one, the first, the genesis of this is this. One guy they called Joseph came out and lied against Joseph, jo, uh, Prophet Joel and, and Apostle Aroma. The guy hates them with passion. I have, I have made some videos about it and want him to stop. He don't hate somebody. As a content creator, make sure, make, try as much as possible not to hate, not to add hate there. Don't do that. Now, the guy has been creating forge, forging lies against Joel. The thing will just be disturbing me. I said, oh, at this guy, do you know the implication of what you are doing? Or because you think that you are in Africa, nothing will happen? Brothers, now everything can happen. Han go touch you. If Han won't touch you, go touch you. He came out, he said, eh, I'm looking for his attention. I said, imagine me looking for your attention. I said, well, my brother, I don't blame you. I'm looking for your attention because you cook one lie like that. I commented there. I said, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, and Pastor Enoch Enoch Adeboye endorsed Seman and Mike Kurobo. I look, I watched you. I said, which kind of lie is this now? I commented there. I said, I don't see where this man endorsed these people. He came out on the comment section. Although he has watched my video where I rebuke him concerning Joel. He now said, he now said, I'm looking for his attention. I said, even you that created this kind of thing, he's also looking for attention. 
So it's attention, stroke, attention, stroke, fast attention. So you don't do, you don't create. Now the guy came out as a lied with I don't know who he hired. Because you normally create content uh, support to but NJ this and that. Just kindly watch the part one of this video so you understand what you are saying. Now, who you support is none of my business. You can support any pastor, it's not a problem. Okay? But my problem is when you collect money from somebody, just like what this guy did to me, trend with uh, Kema. He can claim that video, of course. He can claim that video because I use picture that he used. And that picture is not his own. Don't forget he even tried to terminate the two channels. He was paid to terminate the two channels. He claimed he terminated one. This particular channel that you are watching now, he tried to terminate it. But my lawyer, because, because of this diagram, I have to involve lawyer. My lawyer quickly applied, a uh, appeal, and told YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, that the guy that is claiming this is not the rightful owner. So, you see, they have to accept it but the other channel because i did not make him admit on that channel that is how the channel went this i'm talking about something that happened to me two weeks ago so if you are listening to me and you know that you can assist me to recover that channel please kindly contact me okay now and don't forget all this right up lawyer is not free it's not free and here lawyers you pay them per, per seconds so per minute or, whatever, or per hour rather so you see Anything I rather put down here is money. I spent, I know how much I spent on that channel that went down. This one again, the guy tried to, to terminate it because he was paid to do that. Can you see wickedness of heart? Meanwhile, he has his own channel. Nobody terminates his own channel. His, his, his own is there. I said, I now told him, my brother, see, you better repent. All this, my investigation is not because I want to harm you. No. The investigation is for me to know who is behind this wickedness. And why this? And why can't you repent? Why are you doing this kind of criminal work? You hack people's uh, WhatsApp. You hack everything. You inspire people's WhatsApp for, for pastors. Why are you doing criminal work for them? You do all sorts of things. You use pastor to uh, to track another pastor. You collide all sorts of wicked work, things. Why? Why are you like this? After the investigation, I pre I presented everything. I said, look at it. So. Is well, I told him, see, if you like, you restore that channel back. If you don't restore it, it's okay. I see you as a brother. I can never hurt you. Never. But if I want to hurt you, it's a minor thing. Because we saw you. We saw you, uh, everything. We will track you down. Oh boy, eh? Why do you collect money? You do not just destroy this channel because you wish to. No. You I even said, okay, I will delete the video. Just restore the channel back. Now, you destroy the channel because you are paid to do that. That is what makes it evil. You see the two different things, child of God. That is what makes it what evil. So this this Joseph now, I don't know whether they paid him. I don't know whether he's been paid to do this. This he's doing because the way he's doing it now, he's showing me as if he, I'm suspecting that payment is behind it. It's not only social media money and the like that he's looking for because the hatred is much. Please stop it. He cook one guy with one, they arrange one thing like that. That Prophet Joel Ogebe paid somebody to destroy Prophet Joel, uh, Robert Angel. That Prophet Joel and the Apostle Aroma paid somebody to destroy Prophet Robert Angel. And that one claimed to be, I am, I am, I was their member. I know very well the person they paid and they gave the money to give the bloggers, the two bloggers. He would have called me also because my own is still a small channel. That is why they did not mention my name. If not, they would have mentioned me as well. There are some things we don't do because of integrity. There are some things we don't do because of conscience. There are some things we don't do because of Christ. And he claimed to be a Christian. He, ha he hates them with passion. And this, this same guy, you need to watch that first video. Now look at what Joel said. Joel said that they claimed that video. They put the video down. Although he didn't even want him, he refused. Is even as I'm talking, still talking, as I'm talking to you now. I don't know whether he's still, still there, but as of last night, that video, the second one is still there. As of last year, last uh, yesterday or whatever, the second, the first part because he did part one and part two. The part one is still there. Maybe they show even the warning was sent to him on Facebook instead of him to go and delete it for where. He leave it there because the thing that they can do nothing. 
you lied against him. See, somebody will say, uh, why did they go, go and claim the video? Uh, why did they go? Because it's a lie. If they drag him to court, he will pay dearly. Even that his channel will go down. He, the same, oh my God. That story is terrible. Now, look at what he said. That guy said, I know the person that Joel and Aroma paid. I was one of their members with their followers. I know the person that they paid to destroy Obat Angel. It's a heavy statement. And you know that Aroma uh, and uh, Obat Angel are having issues because of miracle money. That criminal activity, they call miracle money. It's a heavy statement. So if they drag you to court, come and show us the person. Since you know the person, you will not. If you want to do it right, He's supposed to, as Joel said, he's supposed to praise, okay, I know the person. I was their follower. I am sure of what I'm saying. That is what, what he even said without presenting evidence. Look at the evidence. He, he was paid so and so amount of money, on so and so date, on so and so time, on so and so occasion, on so and so bank. This is how the money was paid. That is how you, you present facts. You don't present this kind of allegation without evidence. And when you are being cautioned, Joel, now the guy did video and said that Joel, uh, this is what makes them fake. Uh, so they are not lying. This is evidence that uh, what the guy said is true. Uh, I did not even support the guy. It's a lie. I purposely post his own without editing anything there because I know you lie. He said, I did not even support the guy. I only presented what the guy presented. It's a lie. You, you did, my brother. In case you listen to me, you did. Check the video there. You have it. You did. You said... That, uh, you know, in the body of Christ today, if you present your whatever, people will say you are lying. <laughs> what? <do> you <laughs> this is not funny. I'm telling you, it's not funny to me. So whatever be the case, this is my advice for you. When you posted that, I made a video. I said, please, bros, can you delete it? Go and delete that and it's not good. Don't lie against somebody. If you're a blogger, please don't hate somebody because of money. This guy is actually supporting about NJ. Who they claim that he claimed his video some time ago. And when you find out that the Uber, N Uber Angel side is moving, because if I start uh, promoting Uber Angel now, I'm telling you, under one, one month, this my channel will have 10,000 followers. Because Uber Angel have much followers. If I start promoting Uber Angel, love it, all this group of Uber Angel, because they, now they have group, Prophet Uber Angel, Prophet Love it, Elias, just what this guy, the guy is doing. Uh, anything they do is good for me. Uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, all this their group, if I just pack all of them and start promoting them, I'm telling you, under one month, I will have 10,000 followers. Okay? But I don't do that because I have conscience. If you but angel, I will not uh, do anyone that is good, I will say it's good. It's okay. This part is good. If you do anyone that is not good, I will say, no, sir. This side, you are wrong. If likewise are Roman and the, and the Joel, I don't want to be on the side of any of them. I don't I don't even like this their drama. I want them to have peace. I want peace to reign. I want peace to reign. Please. But we know who is false prophet. We know who is false and who is genuine. And there's no way I'll come out and start promoting false prophet because of what I will gain. Or because of what I will know. I want to say, sir, this is your matter is not clear. This thing you are doing, I don't, I don't understand your matter. So that whatever be the case, let's end it here, please. Brother Joseph of love and truth, can you repent? There is no getting wickedness because of what you are going to gain. You, you will say, eh, but I'm not the one that said it. You know everything. You know how you guys cook this. You know how you guys cook it. When the guy present this thing to you, as a good content creator, you claim you are. You're supposed to ask the guy the evidence. Okay, evidence. This is the evidence of the payment. So when you are creating content, you cannot present that evidence. That the guy is saying that the money was paid on so-and-so -so date, on so-and-so -so account, on so-and-so -so this. Simple. And not to come and present this lie and support the guy. And now and come and be lying that Joel, because of hate. My brother, don't hate anybody. Once a Christian starts hating, that Christian is now a witch and no longer a Christian. So let's end the here, child of God. So thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't allow Pastor Jonathan or CK to chase your sister out of YouTube because of subscription. Subscribe to my channel. If I can get at least 1,000 subscribers, it will put an end to the intimidation. The intimidation is too much. 
He has laid so much cost on me. It did not work. So much this thing, whatever. It did not work. Where he's holding me now is this channel, YouTube channel. He has tried as much as possible to whatever. Please kindly subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. I have nothing against him. Even upon that, I love him. I'm telling you, I love him from the bottom of my heart. See you guys next time. Shalom.